trying to find the sweet spot of our wheel, one of our wheel sales guys says it's all about material removal rates. The other keeps talking about wheel speed. Who's right? There are several different ways to look at the aggressiveness of your grinding operation. Basically, you want the forces on the grits to be big enough to get them to fracture and self-sharpen, but not so big that you just rip apart your wheel. Some people use material removal rate, and they say, oh, higher material removal rate means more aggressive grinding, therefore you'll have a sharper wheel. It's only sort of true. Some people say, oh, it's about the wheel speed. So, you know, slow down your wheel speed, your wheel will act softer. Well, that's sort of true, too. Some people use chip thickness, some people use equivalent chip thickness. The parameter that I find most useful is the aggressiveness. And it really has to do with the penetration depth or how deep the, pen, the grits penetrate into the workpiece. So if we have a very high penetration depth or a very aggressive grind, those grits really dig into the workpiece. We get big forces on the grits. We get a lot of cutting and not much rubbing. We have a more efficient grinding process. Our wheel self-sharpens more. We get more wheel wear, but we just get a better grinding operation as long as it's not excessive. If we have a small penetration depth where the grits only tickle the surface, well then we just sort of rub material and plow it around. The forces aren't big enough to get our grits to fracture. We get a lot of heat generation and a lot of wheel dulling. So finding the sweet spot of the wheel is about getting a penetration depth that's not too shallow and not too deep but somewhere in between. And the parameter that I find most useful is the aggressiveness number. The aggressiveness number takes into account the depth of cut, the feed rate or the table velocity, the wheel speed, and the wheel diameter. And there are two ways to calculate it. In metric, it's 16.7 times your surface speed in millimeters a minute divided by your wheel speed in meters per second times the square root of the depth of cut in millimeters divided by the wheel diameter. And the same equation just with some conversions in Imperial. Now every grinding wheel is going to have an aggressiveness number that it likes. It completely depends on the grinding wheel, the coolant type, the workpiece material. So I can't tell you what aggressiveness number to use. Typical aggressiveness numbers are somewhere between say 5 and 50 depending on the wheel. But once you find that aggressiveness number that works, you'll find that it works for all situations for that wheel. If your aggressiveness number is too low and you're not aggressive enough, your wheel's going to dull, you're going to have a lot of rubbing, a lot of heat generation, power's going to go up, chatter's going to go up, you're going to be in trouble. If you're too aggressive, the forces on the grits are going to be so large that you're going to break the bond material, rip the grits out, get very rapid wheel wear. If your aggressiveness number is just right, you're going to find the sweet spot of the wheel, you're going to cut a lot, remove material very efficiently, you're going to get some self-sharpening of the wheel, some wheel wear, but not too much, and you'll get a good cutting operation. That's the place you want to be. So you're going to have to play around with the aggressiveness numbers that work well for your particular wheel. For example, if I'm using a ceramic grit wheel, I found aggressiveness numbers of somewhere around 15 to 20 work well. So if I get in a grinding operation and we look at their grinding parameters and they've got an aggressiveness number of three, I'll say, okay, you've got a ceramic grit wheel. I may not know the details of that ceramic grit wheel, but three is way too low. Or if I get on that grinding operation and they've got an aggressiveness number of 50, I'll say, well, you're using a ceramic grit wheel, it might be a Norton SG, it might be a Cubitron, it might be a TG, it might be something else, but 50 is just way too high. I want to be somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to 20. So this technique, i found, has worked miracles in terms of once you get the aggressiveness number that works well for your wheel, use it, and boom, you can choose grinding primers immediately that'll put you in the ballpark or very close to that sweet spot for that wheel.